and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am back with a new SSO update and it's all about the equestrian festival the red string trail ride has returned and we also got a quest with Scott better good I know I am late with this update video um, that's because uh, last week I was on vacation so I didn't have the time to record and edit so that's why it's a week later on Wednesday and the update from this week will be out tomorrow so if you're excited please give all thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also click on that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos and with that being said let's just get started okay so I just realized while editing this video that um, the quest with then to go to the red string trail I didn't record uh, it crashed so now we have to explain again how it all works, but not that I mind, of course. Um, but um, to start the quest to go through the red string trail ride is go to the main festival grounds, which are here, of course, here in Orland, and you have to go to talk to Ten, which is standing behind this lantern. Um, so uh, she's standing there, and um, you have to talk to her, and it's called. S uh, the quest is called something of have you heard of the red string trail ride uh, so you have to do that quest and then she talks about having a special bond with your horse when you do that trail ride or if you are in a group you get a very special bond with the group you get a special bond with the people you do this red string trail ride with um, and she also talks about a transportation that is standing right behind me if you talk to Yusuf he can bring you to Virgrove um, and if you take that uh, transportation, you immediately start the quest, and I uh, got that recorded. So, uh, yeah, the rest of the quest you can see, but just the first part, which wasn't very interesting, didn't record. But now I explained, so yeah, now we can start with the rest of the video. Okay, so I don't know if this is Astrid, but I think so. So welcome to the Red String Trail, Isabella. I'm glad you came. Let me tell you about the Red String Trail. The first thing you need to know is that you can start the Red String Trail from that board over there. If there are some friends you want to go with, you may enter the trail at the same time. Once the trail has started, you will find some torches along your way. Follow them and you will reach at the top of the mountain. During your trail, you will encounter different friends and wildlife. It will be different every time you take the trail. At the end, you will need to tie a red string, hence the name Red String Trail. Don't worry, you'll get the string once you start the trail. Legends say that, that by tying the string together with someone you care about, the bond between you will last forever, whether between friends or between horse and rider. One last thing, if you want to go back to the main hub, just talk to me, I'll give you and Moonlight a ride back. I hope you enjoy the beauty of the Red String Trail. Okay, thank you so much, Astrid. Oh, what a name. <laughs> well, okay. Thank you for listening to me. See you soon. Or see you around. Okay. Let's start the trail ride, which is right behind me. So I will click here and then. Okay. Just start. Okay. So we started. Okay, that. I hear different sounds. But okay, I will speed this up. And um, if there happens something and I have something to say, I will stop the speed and then you can hear my voice again. So, enjoy this clip. <laughs> okay, there is a car <laughs> ah! okay. I was... okay. I didn't expect that to be happening. Okay. <laughs> Look at the view we have here. You can see, I think it's for Tinta, I'm not sure. It's super beautiful. Sheeps in this game, they're super cute. I will let them go through. <laughs> super cute. Okay, 
y mi pueblo. Okay, so now your horse gets some XP when you do that, so it's only a good thing to do. Okay, now I will be going back uh, to the um, Moreland Festival Grounds because um, we have to do the quest there with Scott Buttergood and then we have also, uh, then I have some little announcements to make. Okay, so I am back at the main festival grounds and let's talk to Tim because we have to talk to her to start our next quest with um, Scott. So let's see what she has to say. Scott Buttergood brought the most adorable herd of animals to the festival, but from the look on his face I can see that he is in a bit of a pickle. You should go, to, you should go talk to him and see what happened. I wonder who that his guy signs up as a fast volunteer. Okay, let's go and talk to Scott and see what he has to say more about the animals. Okay. You haven't seen any animals wandering around aimlessly, have you? These animals are making me look bad. The one time I try to do a good deed and a volunteer at the festival, everything goes catty wampus. Okay, that's a great word choice. I don't know how these critters got away from me, but I need to get them back before anyone notices and thinks I'm a rodeo clown. <laughs> Wait, do you think this is sabotage? Could it be the work of... Nah, Gumbi. I was gonna say werewolves, but it's not a full moon. Yeti maybe, no? Well, anyway, I'm sure the animals didn't get far. Will you help me get them back? Now, the donkeys and foals will be a piece of cake, so to speak. They are very curious and will follow you back here. The cows and sheep, on the other hand, let's just say they like to make you do work. You'll have to herd them back by riding behind them. Okay, so... Great, just, do, just don't tell anyone I lost in the first place, will ya? I want. I'd appreciate if you had time to help find at least one of the missing animals for me. The animals can't have a run too far away in Moreland, so hopefully that saves you some trouble. Okay, so we are gonna help him find the last animals, but I have no idea where to find them. So yeah, wish me luck because I'm bad at this sort of things. Okay, I found one cow, so that's great. This animal seems lost. Better guide back to Scott. So we have, we shall bring this thing back to him. But we have to run behind it because otherwise it won't do anything. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, it's going through the fences. Great. What is this cow doing? Uh, I think I lost the cow. Well, anyway, no spring tokens for me then, but I will explain something. 
So, uh, you will find four animals scattered around the festival grounds daily. Each animal return rewards you with three spring tokens. That means there are 12 spring tokens to score each day. So that is so much. Now, I have more to tell because we have some new items. Don't miss out on your daily quests to collect spring tokens. There are a brand new set and saddleback accessory available for tokens this week. Uh, we also added three saddlebags, accessories, and one new set to perch. Stay tuned, there more, there's more to come. And then one last reminder, one last last chance. So the our Aquatiques and Appaloosa horses from Generation 1.5 were supposed to retire during last week's update. However, they were a little too eager and left a whole week earlier. We've convinced them to come back for one last time to give you a chance to purge them. They will be in Ferdinand's horse market for two more weeks and will officially leave us during the Wednesday update on April 27th. So this is the whole update from last week. So if you enjoyed, please give all a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also click on that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow with the update from this week. So yeah, I will see you then. Bye!